Hello and welcome to Admin Setup Task Types. In this section we will learn all the different, different various task types that you can create and where they will display with, throughout Atom software. So first we'll go to Admin and scroll down and we have Task Types. And we have these filtered by business types and uh, you can refer back to admin business types, how to set up a business type, but as you know, you can have multiple business types within, ad, within Atom software. Uh, if I just wanted to look at just my task types for, say, uh, bookkeeping, which I have none specifically for bookkeeping, most of mine are all designed for all business types. Uh, so looking here, we have task type, a confidential note, a general note, a phone message, and complaints. And uh, the complaints actually are showing up. They are with tax business type, just tax preparation. Um, and all the other ones, all the other task types are tied into all the business types. So they will display. I'll show you where they display within the software. First, let's, why don't we go there. So if I were to go to a search and I go to a client, so I'll do a search for Michelle Bishop, and I view her client details. Scroll down to the bottom. Right here we have where it says task notes information. As you see, there's a, some phone messages that are outstanding. I select the drop down. I have complaints, general, and phone message. Okay, that's what's displaying in my drop down for business type tax preparation. If I were to change this business type to, say, bookkeeping and save it, now what I see in my drop down are general and phone message because if you recall, general and phone messages were for all business types and complaint was just for business type tax preparation. So I'm going to go back and switch this back. Back to business type tax prep and now I see all three. Okay, so now you kind of have an idea where the tasks drop down um, descriptions are displaying. Now I'm going to go back to admin, come down here to uh, task types. And so as you see here, general is all business type. I'll, I'll explain why there's two general here in a second. Phone message is all business type. And then complaints were specific to business type tax preparation. So if I wanted to add another business or another task type, Say I wanted to add one called um, IRS letters, and I want that specific to tax preparation. I would select the business type tax prep, and I save that. And now when I were to go back to a search, and I go pull to pull up Michelle, come down here at the bottom, and now I have IRS letters in my drop down. So that's how you're going to create uh, task types, and they're going to be specific to your organization, so you don't have to go with what we have. Come back here and describe a couple more things in this admin section, task types. So we can make them inactive. So if I want to make my IRS letters inactive, because I won't be able to, once I create a, uh, a note or a task, at one at any time then I will never be able to delete that because it'll be linked throughout the software so I'd have to make it inactive so if I make it inactive and if I want to show all my inactive records which I believe I have quite a few here's all my inactive records if I want to go ahead and make them active again I just come and hit the edit pencil select uncheck the box I save and if I just click here I'll refresh it back to the active records so that's, that's an explanation on the inactive records. The event status link, I'll briefly go over this. I'd recommend not using that anymore. Now that we have, uh, uh, we've been putting notes in the event status, you probably won't need that anymore, but I'll just briefly explain since it is there. Right, let me show some inactive records. You see here the in event status link here. We have uh, drop off, extension filed, pending, rejects, and return pickup. What that was used for is we used to record our notes down in the task notes information section, and but sometimes we wanted them to display in the office events so that we could actually see them on our home page. So 
we had that set for drop off, extension filed, pending, and rejects, and return pickup. And then we realized that we pretty much want our notes to display on the home page. And what I mean by that, if I go to my home page, switch this over to tax preparation, waiting an IRS to fund the bank. The notes right here, I like those to display here so I can easily see that all my files are documented properly. Um, so when we were using the task notes section as our main spot to record notes, we wanted those also to display on the home page. But since then, we've decided that it's better to actually just log your note directly on the events page as opposed to using your task notes if it's tied in, is it, if it's related to an event. So in our tax office, we don't use uh, these anymore. That's why we've made them all inactive, and I recommend you guys to do the same. So hopefully I didn't confuse anyone. Mostly, I shouldn't have probably even brought it up, but I, I wanted to explain what that column was for. So let's move to the next column, business type. And as you saw how I created IRS letters, I just, if I wanted that task or that note, um, name to appear in the drop down just for business type tax preparation then I'll label it you know business type tax preparation if I want it to show up for all my business types like I do for general then I classified it all business types confidential if you have a a task or a note that you only want the administrator to see either if it's related to business type tax preparation or maybe it's related to a a user note then you'd go ahead and label it, say for example, this IRS letter, maybe I only want the administrator to see that. Or um, most likely what we do is, what I've been doing is actually creating a, a task type called confidential note. Say I only want to, to appear in my tax prep business types and I'm gonna tag it confidential. I save it. And now when I go to Michelle Bishop's file, and I view it, and my drop down here, there's confidential notes. Okay, but I'm set in, I'm logged in as administrator. If I log out, and log in under Jim, and go back to the same client to see if I can see that confidential note in the drop down. To see it's not there because Jim has the rights as a tax repairer, so he's not able to even see that. So he wouldn't be able to see any note that was entered that I put in as confidential note. So that may come into play. Maybe there's a time where you might want to do that for a specific client and you only want the owner or the administrator to see the note most likely where it's going to come into play more let me log out here and log back in as administrator I'll go back to admin and task types most likely where that's going to come into play more is when it's a user note so we are this last column here it says user task type and in fact let me go with this confidential note up here I'm going to tag it as a confidential note and I'm going to save it and where the user task type comes into play is on the user page, so under Mark Preco, right here, task notes information. So this is where you can actually make a note related to the employee, or you could assign tasks to that employee. But right here, the task drop down, this is where they're located, confidential note in general. And the confidential note works exactly the same way as I just described. Only the administrator will be able to see that note, not the actual employee. And you can experiment with that um, as we just did with Jim, but he wouldn't actually be able to see this drop down. Let me go back to admin here and explain a little bit more. So if, as you see here, confidential note, I have that going to the user task type, which I just showed you. I also have a confidential note going to tax prep, right? business type tax prep. So anytime you have a user, you want a task type, to display in the drop down for a specific user, you're gonna actually have to make um, another another task type, even if it has the exact same name. So for example, right here we have general and general. I have general, which is going to all my business types, but then I have another general, which is specifically going just to the user. 
So if it's if this if this box is checked user, um, it's strictly tied in just the user has nothing really to do with business types. This almost could be NA not applicable um, because user task is is because uh, the user does not have any links to the business types. So that's why I have two generals. Um, so basically, it's pretty straightforward. The task types um, tied to the business types, and then if you also want a task type that's linked to your user page, which I strongly recommend. That way you can assign tasks to your employees that are not client related. All you have to do is check the box and then you save. So that's all I have for admin task types. Thank you.